Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy. Good morning, T-Birds. It's Apati. And I'm Cyrus. Today is Tuesday, March 5th, and you're watching Mount Tomah TV. Over the weekend, Mount Tomah's very own Yeni Trong was tapped and became an official Daffodil Princess of 2019. It was her first public appearance where she revealed her gown and was presented with a tiara, sash, and a golden daffodil necklace. Congrats, Yenny, and way to represent for Mount T. Black history may be over, but students and staff are still buzzing about the assembly. Mount Tahoma reporter Carlos Guzman has details about the event and student feedback. The assembly was last week, and it was unlike anything students have seen before. It was pretty cool. They were going in. It was better than any Black History Month assembly I've been to, so yeah. I really liked the assembly. It was different than all the other assemblies since I've been here at Mount T. There was a lot more dancing and more than talk. Well, there was a lot more dancing than talking, which I like. And yeah, it was fun. Had a nice time. It was just great and fantastic. There were lots of music, dance, and history being taught that captivated the audience. There were three assemblies in all that lasted 30 minutes each. And the next big assembly is the Multicultural Assembly on Friday, March 29th. I'm Carlos Guzman with Mount Toma TV. Speaking of the Multicultural Assembly, auditions are today after school in the auditorium. All participating members must be present. Please have music edited and ready. The date has been set for the 57 Buzz Book Club meeting. It will be Tuesday, March 26th during both lunches. You can check it out in the school library. The book is about a true story about a teenager who is set on fire by another teen in the, in the bus in Oakland, California. Mount Thomas 28th through annual luau is Saturday, March 23rd. That means you have about three weeks to purchase your ticket. The cost is 15 for adults, 10 for students, and 8 for the show only. Dinner's at 5. Hey, man, do you have a favorite quote, man? Not really. What about you, Cyrus? Uh, my favorite quote is, if you stand for something, you're going to fall for anything, man. And uh, here are some quotes that the teachers say to help them get through the day. My favorite quote is, it is easier to build strong children than it is to repair broken men. That's what Frederick Douglass said. My favorite quote comes from the last line of Joseph, Joseph Campbell's book, The Hero with a Thousand Faces. And that quote goes, uh, it's not society that's the guide and save the hero, but precisely the reverse. And so each one of us shares in the eternal struggle, um, carries the cross of the Redeemer, not in the bright moments of our tribe's great victories, but in the silence of our personal despair. One of my favorite quotes is by Albert Einstein, and it's uh, the definition of insanity is continuing to do the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. The only quote that I can think of right now is, uh, I've made a huge mistake by Joe Bluth. My favorite quote is by Martin Luther King. It's, in the end, we'll remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. That does it for today's news. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm Sapati. And I'm Cyrus. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Never miss a story. Once, Once a T-Bird, always a T-Bird. Have, Have a great day. day.